What's up guys? Welcome to Structure Analysis 1. My name is Christabel and I'll be taking you through the classification of structures. When can a structure be defined as statically determinate? When can a structure be also defined as statically indeterminate and also unstable? So first, before we go through this classification, let's first talk about the type of supports we have. First of all, we have the pin support. Normally, a pin support is represented by that. All this. These are the kind of supports you see and whenever you see them, these are pin supports. We also have this and it can also be um, that. Okay, for these kind of pin supports or for any pin supports, we have two reaction forces. Um, which is the vertical and the horizontal force. Okay, the next type of support is the roller, which is sometimes called um, sliding. The representation of this is can be that. Or this or that okay for a roller or sliding type of support um, there's just the vertical reaction force which is let's say our y <clears throat> in the y-axis sorry in the y-axis for the pin support we have the vertical one let's say our y and the horizontal one which is um, let's say our x okay the next and final type of support we see in structural analysis is the fixed or clamped, sometimes called clamped support or clamped end. Um, we see that or this. It's actually just one one kind of scene in, in structure analysis, one representation of a fixed support. That's this one. Okay, for the fixed supports, there are three reaction forces. We have the vertical one, we have the horizontal, and we have also a moment. So let's call this vertical one Ry, horizontal Rx, and the rotational moment M or Mz. Okay. What we observe in structural analysis are these kind of supports. That's what we normally see in structural analysis. So with these supports, <clears throat> we can determine, with these reaction forces, we can determine whether a structure is statically determinate or indeterminate. First, there are three conditions. There are three conditions. Um, first, the first one is R. R here it's number of reactions, and if R, which is the number of reactions, is equal to three, three here is the number of equilibrium equations 
if the number of reactions is equal to the number of equilibrium equations, your structure is classified as a statically determinate structure. If R, which is the number of reactions, it's greater than your number of equations, which is 3, then your structure is classified as statically indeterminate structure. And once again, if R is less than 3, your structure is now an is called is classified in the unstable structure zone. Okay, so let's say S unstable. Okay, so let's let's just check out some examples. Let's take this. Let's consider this beam. With the pin support here and here we have a sliding support for the pin support we know there is just ry two reaction forces rx and for the roller or sliding support we have just ry let's say ry2 and ry1 Okay, let's put one right there. In this, in this beam, we have three reactions. So, R is equal to 3. And our number of equations is also equal to 3. So, since R is equal to the number of equations, let's say, um, let me put it here. Number of equations is equal to 3. So since R is equal to number of equations, structure is statically determinate. Okay, what if we have a beam, a beam now, and we have a pin support? A roller right in the middle and at the end we also have another roller support so in total there are x1 y1 here we have r y2 r y3 okay so for the roller supports we have just the vertical reaction and also for the pin support we have two reactions so in total we have r equal to r equal to five so we know the number of equilibrium equation for a structure is equal to three so since r is bigger than three this structure is is known as or is classified as statically indeterminate indeterminate yeah. okay but there are also some special cases special cases where we find hinges within the structure so let me just write special cases here special cases excuse me I know my handwriting is a bit bad but hey please cope with me um, so with the special cases that is when there are hinges okay that is when let's say you have a beam and you have a hinge right here then it continues let's say you have a support here you have let's say a fixed a pin support here 
and also you have another pin support here okay so in this case um, when you have pin supports so, sorry when you have hinges okay which is a special cases there are also three conditions R when R is less than 3 plus N here N N is equal to let me clean that um, okay let me change the pen okay N is the number number of condition equations okay okay what we mean by this is we know at a hinge the moment is equal to zero this information is known the moment at a hinge is always equal to zero the, the rotational moment so with this condition you can write an additional equation together with your three equilibrium equations so in this situation here the number oh let me just do that the number the number of equations becomes four which is three equilibrium equations plus the one conditional equation at the hinge okay let me just put an arrow there okay so if your number of reactions which is r is less than three plus the number of condition oh, sorry conditional equations okay so when r is less than three plus n um this is classified as statically statically unstable okay so the next one is when r is now equal to 3 plus n then it becomes statically determinate but externally okay so just a reminder all these conditions are for external external for checking the um for checking the for classifying the structures externally okay so here um let's continue the next special case is r when r is bigger than 3 plus n for this we say the structure is statically indeterminate terminate yeah oops i'm out of time so let's save the rest for the next video in the next video we'll be solving some examples Thank you for watching and any comments will be appreciated this is my first youtube video so if you have any criticisms and any suggestions please comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you bye